Hey guys, Zane here with another One Take Review, and today I want to talk about Danny Brown's You Know What I'm Saying. You Know What I'm Saying is generally seen by many as not one of Danny Brown's better moments as a rapper and performer, especially compared to the preceding album Atrocity Exhibition, which is generally seen as a sort of masterclass in modern experimental hip-hop. With that being said, I do think that You Know What I'm Saying does have at least some level of credibility to it that a lot of people tend to ignore. Firstly, Danny Brown is easily one of the most distinguishable and unique performers within modern rap right now, as his nasally tones kind of give off the vibe of some classic MCs like Cypress Hill's Be Real, but at the same time, the aggression that he delivers on songs like Dirty Laundry is very unique and makes him stand out from his other abstract experimental hip-hop peers. Obviously, Danny Brown doesn't maintain the same type of experimentalism that you'd find on a record by, say, Death Grips or Jedi Mind Tricks, and he doesn't have the same verbosity and vocabulary as someone like Aesop Rock or MF Doom, but at the same time, there is a sense of genre and style combining here on not only You Know What I'm Saying, but virtually every other Danny Brown album that makes him a very engaging and direct performer. The beats on You Know What I'm Saying are solid, even though they aren't really all that great. The thing that made Atrocity Exhibition, again, his most popular and previous album before this record, that the thing that made that album so interesting, for me at least beyond his lyricism, is the fact that all of the beats for the most part were industrial or hardcore influenced, which is kind of thrown out the window on You Know What I'm Saying. That being said, there's a lot of songs here like Combat and Belly of the Beast that are solid instrumentals, even though they aren't nearly as special as those found on previous Danny Brown releases, that are enough to hook the listener in, hook me in, and make it worth listening to the relatively short runtime of the album. One thing that makes You Know What I'm Saying as an album stand out within the Danny Brown discography is the sense of humor found in the songwriting here. And now don't get me wrong, humor wasn't some foreign thing to Brown in his lyricism before this 2019 release. The uh, modern classic that is Ain't It Funny still had its own sort of dark, satirical, mildly self-aware sense of humor in its own grim way. With that being said, You Know What I'm Saying is significantly more straightforward with its humor and very more direct with its sense of humor, with a number of songs here being more on the raunchy side, especially compared to previous Brown songs, and is arguably the most comedy or comedic-based album the rapper's done so far. This is overall something the listener will find either very uh, annoying and obnoxious or something very endearing and even maybe slightly charming to some extent. While there are a handful of storytelling-based tracks here that would define songs like Atrocity Exhibition, I still do think that You Know What I'm Saying as an album is a sort of introspective look at Danny Brown that's heavily disguised with a mildly childish sense of humor. There aren't very many featured performances or guest verses throughout You Know What I'm Saying, but the few that are there are pretty notable, I'll admit. Run the Jewels first appear on the track Three Tears, which I think is nice, but at the same time, Killer Mike and LP, even though I think that Run the Jewels have a more consistent discography than Danny Brown, don't really add much to the song overall, even if the three do collectively share about the same time on the mic. And generally speaking, if it were just Danny or if it were just Run the Jewels, it would have been a decent at best song either way. With that being said, JPEG Mafia and Blood Orange do appear later on in the album, in the album's track list, and both do deliver excellent jobs at doing their own thing, especially JPEG Mafia, who, while I would never actually consider myself a big fan of his music, it's just never really clicked with me as a listener, does an excellent job on his verse on Negro Spiritual. So, overall, You Know What I'm Saying as an album doesn't really reach the heights of its predecessor in Atrocity Exhibition, nor does it really even reach the heights of a lot of the rest of the Danny Brown album catalog. While it perhaps isn't his most directly memorable, I still do think that You Know What I'm Saying has a lot of excellent humor and excellent performance work from Brown that warrants it at least a little bit of love, though maybe not as much as albums like the many times mentioned now Atrocity Exhibition, which is why I'm going to give it Three and a half stars out of five. It's not great, and there are a lot of times where the humor doesn't exactly land, or at least not land in the way that it's supposed to. But at the same time, it, it's still a strong album. It delivers some strong cuts, definitely some memorable moments like the aforementioned Dirty Laundry, which is a major highlight on the album. And generally speaking, it's consistent. I'll say that much. So three and a half stars out of five. And with that being said, that's the end of this review, and I'll see you guys in the next one.